fashionable. A wallet, even a hat. But how do you get off a bus and forget your grandfather clock? Or what about an eight-foot theatrical coffin complete with props? Your wedding dress? And a stuffed bird of prey eating its dinner? Here at the London Underground Lost Property Depot in Baker Street, they handle 108,000 lost articles a year, of all different shapes and sizes. Manageress Maureen Beaumont started work here 25 years ago as an office junior. Queen of the lost property, she no longer even bats an eyelid. Nothing really surprises me anymore. Uh, false hands, false legs, even false eyes. You know, something that we're quite used to here. But what does surprise me is sometimes the size of something that's handed in. Just before Christmas, we had two and a half hundred weight of sultanas and currants. And that was going to be one giant Christmas pudding. With some lost property, it's easy to see why it remains unclaimed. But I bet this dolly is being sorely missed by its owner. As you can see, we've got many school bags handed in, found on the buses and the tubes. But I often wonder, did they leave them on purpose? Perhaps that homework was a little bit too hard? But surprise, surprise, we do write to the school if we find the name in there. So beware, because you could have your homework back. London's centralised lost property system is the only one of its kind in the world. Receiving over 400 inquiries a day, Maureen's staff of 25 pride themselves at being able to find lost items within 30 seconds for a charge of just £2. The thing about false teeth is, I mean, it always amazes me that I mean, we do get many sets handed in, but when people come in to inquire about false teeth, they actually try them in and see if they fit. And then they go, no, no, they're not mine, you know, and give them back to us. London Underground stressed that lost property is only kept for 12 weeks, after which it's sold in public auction. Well, it looks like even miracles happen on the tube. Maureen's wondering how the owner of this and 300 others like it managed to hop off the tube and hobble home. If you recognise any of these weird and wonderful things, then do come along and pick them up. Robert Sullivan, Channel 1, Baker Street.